Hey, my name is Hubwood and today we are going to take a quick but closer look at the brand new Intel Iris Xe Max dedicated GPU for laptops and if it's worth it to get a laptop with one of these. So let's talk about that. Upfront, let me inform you that I made a similar video about the NVIDIA MX series, which is an entry-level GPU for laptops as well. So make sure to check that out after watching this video. I will post a link in the description and at the end card of this video as well. So the Intel Iris Xe Max is the bigger brother of the Intel Iris Xe Non-Max, which um, came out in late 2020 and is an integrated uh, GPU for the new 11th generation of Intel laptop chips. Now this 25 watt GPU is supposed to be for content creators or people that use AI software. And yes, it's also supposed to be for some like gaming here and there. At least that's what Intel stated on their website. And on paper it actually sounds pretty okay. For example, we got 4 gigabytes of VRAM, we have um, adaptive sync compatibility, also a boost clock of 1650 megahertz, and it's produced with a 10 nanometer process. We have 25 watt TDP, which seems all right for an entry-level GPU. The performance is supposed to be around 20% faster than the Iris Xe non-max version. And in 3 d Mark Firestrike, it actually gets a pretty decent graphics score of around 6,000 points, outperforming even the DDR6 version of the MX450, at least in gaming, and being as fast as a GTX 1050 by NVIDIA. But then there is paper and then there are real world benchmarks. And if you came here because you like some gaming here and there, I'm sorry to disappoint you. But as of today, and make sure to check the video date and your date, because that can change after a while. So after, as of today, this GPU is really, really bad for gaming. It might actually be slower, than the integrated GPU of the same laptop that comes with the dedicated version of this GPU. So deactivating it completely in Windows would actually provide a better performance in gaming. And that has to be due to the very bad driver optimization yet. At least that's what I hope. Right of now, it's around as fast as a NVIDIA MX350. Sometimes it's a bit faster and sometimes it's much slower. But it's still much slower than any MX450. And yeah, it might be a bit faster than the AMD Vega, but then again, the integrated chip is faster than the dedicated, so that makes no sense anyway. Okay, so content creation would be a reason to get one of these laptops, right? Well, no, at least not in Adobe Premiere or Blender. In Adobe Premiere, the integrated Iris Xe was actually faster significantly than the Iris Xe Max when rendering one of my videos. And despite not having its own VRAM for that matter. Well, and in Blender, I was hoping for Nvidia's new feature called Deep Link, which is supposed to allow us to render with an integrated GPU, with a dedicated GPU and the CPU at the same time, but at least I was not able to render any image with any Blender version and any driver version with the Iris Xe or the Iris Xe Max for that matter, it just would not render at all. At least on the Dell Inspiron that I've tested the Iris Xe Max on. And Intel even has a dedicated advertisement for this. So who should actually get a laptop with a Iris Xe Max? <laughs> well, to be honest, as of now, nobody. You're wasting actual money and you would get the same or even better results in most of the cases with the same laptop, but without adding the dedicated Iris Xe Max. And at the same time, saving quite a lot of money. Hopefully that will change in the future though with better driver optimization, but that can take quite a while, I guess. Because I was testing the Iris Xe integrated with old and new drivers after a few months, and the difference was only around 5 to 15%, so there might be potential actually, but it could take a while. 
And now make sure to hit that subscribe button to get an updated version of this video after I retest the Iris XE Max in a few months, comparing it to today's performance. Like the video if this was helpful for you, because that's going to be helpful for me. Thanks for watching, see you next time, stay healthy, stay safe, bye bye and tschüss.